natural environment and how there's individual differences in that. So what we find is when we study that, people who are more connected to nature, spend more time in contact with nature outside, are actually happier. So they report that they have more vitality, they have more positive emotions. And this is true even when we measure happiness in nearby nature. So taking people for walks along the Ottawa River, for example, 15 minutes gives you a boost in your vitality and your positive emotions. So it doesn't need to be remote wilderness nature. Not many people can get to that. So I think that tells us that it's important to make nature accessible for people, that we need lots of green space. There's lots of research out there that says even living near green space improves your longevity. Even if you don't have a chance to use it, there's something about having a healthy natural environment around that really helps health and well-being. And lots of behaviors that are good for the environment are also good for us. So riding your bike to work, walking to work, all of those things make you healthy and, and happier, but they also are good for the environment. So you can have sustainable happiness as well as sustainable behavior, and those things complement each other. and uh, I've been studying with Lisa the relationships between uh, nature, how people think of themselves as connected to nature, uh, their happiness, and sustainable behavior. And uh, the basic idea that we're exploring is that there may be this happy path of sustainability. That is, by getting people uh, to spend time in nature and to feel like they are a part of nature and connected to nature, we might be able to make them both happier and also to behave in more sustainable ways. Uh, this is an idea that's been around and is uh, practiced in a lot of ways and a lot of what we're trying to do as psychology researchers is to apply the tools of social science uh, to, to produce the kinds of evidence that politicians and policy makers and environmental advocates can use to, uh, to advocate for more nature, for urban green space, um, to, to really uh, put these ideas under scientific investigation. And so far, uh, the data have been really cooperative. So it does appear that nature is good for people's happiness and uh, being exposed to nature and feeling connected to nature. This also seems to foster uh, sustainable attitudes and behaviors.